Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? It's time for another hair related video. I know it's been a couple of weeks actually since I've done the video. So today I'm going to be using a new oil product and it's along of the Ayurvedic, <laughs> which is a holistic approach to hair care. Now you guys, I'm going to be honest, although I have used certain type of products like that before, I have been afraid to really dive in head first into the Ayurvedic um, different type of hair care uh, and, and ingredients, I should say, or products, girl, products. Because I had a horrible reaction to a product that I use. It's been a couple of years. I hate to say the name, but I think one or two of you have experienced some negative reaction to this particular product. It was a bore soap sold by 22nd, is her name 21st or 22nd Beauty? I love her. She's a wealth of knowledge. She has, I think her hair by now is past waist length. So I'm like, okay, I want to be past waist length too. So I purchased some of her products. Let me tell you something. While I was washing my hair, and if I can remember correctly, it was a bar soap. I'm going to go ahead and link in the description or the cards that particular product review that I did, that video. The soap got in my eyes. When I tell you, baby, I thought that I was pretty sure when I opened up my eye, I was going to see black. I say all of that girl to say, that's why it literally has taken me years, even though I've used some certain stuff, you know, um, but it's taken me years to really get into it. Fenugreek oil was the one that I really was on only because I'm used to that because I cook with it. So today we have Amla hair oil and I purchased this from Amazon.com. It was less than $15. If I can remember correctly, it was like $13 and some change. Now this is the beautiful box it comes in. And I know that a couple of you guys had mentioned, uh, at least one or two of you had mentioned you didn't like the scent. I'm a stickler for fragrances, fragrances and it smells like, honestly, it smells like blue magic, hair grease. To me, it does. The green one or the blue one. <laughs> That's what it smells like, old school blue magic hair grease. So, Amla Oil, there are many, many benefits to this particular oil, you guys. So, Amla Oil is full of nutrients and vitamins. It is an antimicrobial, if I can pronounce it correctly, an antioxidant. It helps with thinning, shedding, lice. Um, it's mostly what I've been seeing on YouTube is hair growth and thickness. I don't have a problem with thickness, but I feel like my hair is stalling when it comes to growth. There is no reason. I've been natural now for 11 years. No, going on 12 years, I am still a little past bra length. I've been a little past bra length, I feel like for five or six years. So you guys, the way I plan on using it today is I'm gonna use it in my deep conditioner and I'm also gonna do a scalp massage. Now those are gonna be two separate videos. So let's just talk about the back of this and look at it a little bit more. This is 300 MLE, again, it's a different, um, everything is a little different in another country, you know, the measurements wise. As far as the back goes, it says, Dabor Amla Oil combines the goodness of Amla fruit, which is Indian gooseberry, and you can find this particular um, gooseberry plant or seed in India and also in Africa, and maybe even in the Caribbean, if I remember correctly. But it basically states, for best results, apply adequate quantity of Dabla Amla Oil to the hair and leave for some time, ideally an hour. Okay, girl, this is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, let's look into some consistency, and I'm going to describe exactly what it looks like. Um, I already told you guys that to me, it smells like blue magic hair grease. So, it has the color, color of, it's green. And so, this is it in my hair oil mixture that I'm gonna be applying to my scalp when I do my scalp massage. So, which hair oil can I can? This reminds me of grapeseed oil, okay? The consistency, um, the way it feels. It's a, it's a little greasier than grapeseed oil. Um, it has the fattiness of olive oil, but it's not as thick and not as heavy. I'm pretty sure the, mole the molecular weight is not as heavy. I'm going to put some of that in my scalp. So, okay, you guys. So, let me show you what I've done with my particular cholesterol. So, this has been my go-to cholesterol for years. And this is the Hollywood Beauty. 
olive oil cholesterol so in addition to the amla oil i believe i added three tablespoons of amla oil i also absolutely love the ors olive oil replenishing conditioner now typically i get the two or three packages you know little packages you get for a dollar and some change but i decided a long time ago it's actually best just to go ahead and get the bottle i believe this is eight ounces okay 12 ounces i added three to four tablespoons to this and again i also added about two to three tablespoons of the amla oil i added two to three tablespoons of sweet almond oil and two tablespoons of olive oil and a couple of drops of lavender oil okay so now in my applicator jar again i have the amla oil olive oil sweet almond oil <sighs> castor oil jojoba oil and fenugreek oil girl my look we going for ankle length. You so silly, Vivian. So that's what I have in here. This is what I'm going to be using on my scalp. And when it comes to moisturizing my hair, I do the LCO method, liquid cream oil, okay? So, all right, you guys. So that's the game plan. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower, wash my hair. I'm going to come back on cam, apply the deep conditioner, let it sit on with heat for about an hour, okay? You guys, I am done getting at the shower. I feel like... I was, uh, child, I feel like I was dang on there drowning. So, I'm going to take my hair all down. All right, this is what it looks like with no products, nothing in it. Look how clean it looks, yes. Okay, girl. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair into smaller sections, apply the deep conditioner, and we have some saran wrap. <laughs> Hear me out. It's going to generate heat. My hair is going to generate heat. And with the saran wrap, it's going to be like putting on a heat cap, basically. guys i am out of the shower this is what my hair is looking like girl super moisturized it feels amazing look at the length of my hair you guys it feels absolutely amazing home i'm gonna close the door it feels absolutely soft you can see the moisture it feels fabulous this is going to be my go-to deep conditioner let me take these glasses off my go-to deep conditioner routine for now on until my hair gets like waist length. So it feels amazing. Now I will be um, blowing out my hair. So the only thing I'm gonna be doing adding is a little bit of the Giovanni Direct Leave-In. Sorry y'all. <laughs> the Giovanni Direct Leave-In and then my Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor. These are the only products I'm applying to my hair. And then once I'm done blowing out my hair, I'm gonna be doing a scalp massage along with the Amla Oil. So that is it you guys, take care, bye.